Okay, welcome to this um, series where I'm going to be talking about attention. Now, I'm probably going to talk about attention um, a lot in uh, more upcoming content and the importance around it. We, as storytellers, creative directors, if you're a video agency, producer, um, this is definitely one for you. We are the, the masters at creating attention. And the beautiful thing about this day and age is that attention is like the new oil. It is the most important currency right now, getting attention. If you look at things like people like Gary Vaynerchuk and other people that are talking about or sort of highlighting the ideology of like getting people's attention, brands need attention. Now, where we could fall short is that we're too busy, far too busy, getting everybody else's attention that we forget to get our own and we need to know that this is the very much the, the sh one of the strongest activities in your business to attract premium clients to attract consistency and to build your lead gen pipeline and so i want to talk about this and so that's exactly what we're going to do so get some popcorn saddle up here we go okay well, let's talk about it all right so the first problem that i see with a lot of creative people is they think if they build it everyone will come what that does is it leaves you in a complete and utter waiting game and it destroys a lot and so the first thing that i will say that if you don't create attention for yourself or you don't have some kind of attention mechanism in place that you're attracting certain people to your offer to your studio to your creative services then it's going to leave you feeling uncertain. It's going to put you in a waiting game pattern. You're going to be out of control. You're going to end up being desperate. You're going to have, you can't secure financing with the banks because you're not going to have a predictable lead system, which is going to affect your sales. And I'm going to talk about how particularly content can help you in the background when people are sitting on the fence and not knowing whether they want to join or not join. Um, nuclear avatar is a big thing. Fostering the scarcity mindset. Scarcity mindset is so problematic well, what that does is that if you're not having new fresh leads coming in or new people looking at you what happens is is that when you get a lead you you literally become desperate and scarcity and price and it just starts to attack you internally you know you know who you know who you are and who I'm talking to here because I I've been through this and I think most people that I talk to and I talk to about 80 80 different video agencies and creative directors uh, storytellers all walks of life from the creative industry all have this sort of scarcity mindset and it's because they have a lack of good quality attention to them opportunity cost opportunity cost is basically when you're not getting attention for yourself, doing it for everyone else, stuck in the delivery, which is a lot of people's problem, is that you are losing money to your competitors. It puts stagnation around your business and it just affects budgets and the overall business. This is an AI generated thing and I thought it would enhance the thing. It just literally puts you into like, are they going to come? We have to get attention. We have to. It's so important that we focus it on ourselves and we become like, you know, in a lot of ways, we've got to kind of eat our own dog food. And I'm going to talk a lot about this in, in future series, in future series um, around how to get attention. But this is going to give you a very quick overview of like some of the things I want you to think about that I think will create a lot of value for you. So there's, there's five ways to get attention for ourselves there's first there's cold outreach that's email that's social media that's uh phone calls if you do still do that um i don't recommend that um paid traffic is so you can pay for the attention you can have content which i think is the biggest leverage puller if you do it correctly organic awareness heads of snake i call it heads of snake that's my heads of snake method but it's referral partners and then customer referrals so the misconception first and foremost, which I want to knock in the ass right now, is that you have to be popular. You have to be well-known. You have to be this big influencer. It's not true. You don't need a thousand million trillion people following you on, on YouTube. I mean, if you look at my Instagram, and I'll talk to you about that in a second, I don't have that many people following me, but I have the right type of people following me. Okay, and if you're watching this, you would be the right type of people that are following you. The, some of the people that, I mean, sometimes I only get like 50 views on YouTube, but it goes out. And when people see it, and 50 people are important to me. You put 50 people in a room and it's a lot. I think that we just get lost in, in this fact that we have to be super popular and we don't. Um, 
just to further that point, 80% of your results would come from 20% of the efforts. Now, a lot of the times, like I'd have five clients and I would generate a quarter of a million dollars, $50,000 per brand story or campaign that I was doing. Five clients are generating that much. 10 clients are half a million. So you don't need massive volume. What you do need to do is you do need to capture the right type of people. It, it's a game of quality over quantity. And that's something that I really want to bring to your attention. Content is a must. Now, as much as we, I know a lot of creative people don't like to be the, the, the star of the show, we have to start pointing the cameras at ourselves or at least do the written or at least develop some kind of podcast or something that shows our perspective. This is a powerful leverage. It gives you more leverage because it can hit in multiple countries, multiple times a day. You don't have to be there once you've made it. You make something. I'm, you know, lately I'm all about any business activity that I do is make it once and then it lasts for a long time. If it if it's not something that I can make once and then it lasts a long time, I don't want to really take part in it. So focus on high value, authority building, um, and putting content out that you can make once and it's timeless. Like this is going to be timeless. This will this piece of content right now is going to it's a principle piece of content. It's principles. Um, a little bit of implementation as well. But the the value you're going to get from this is that it it. it, it it could be seen in two years from now and it's, and it's still timeless, right? So focus on things like that. So when I want to talk to you about here is all you need is capture the right type of attention. So if we go to my Instagram, right, and we look at my following, I don't have a massive following. At this time of this recording, I don't have a lot of following. It may, it may, it may, it may have increased somewhere. Hold on. Don't know what's going on. Always when I'm recording. Okay. So I've got 4,000, around 4,000 followers, right? But if you look at my messages, we are, we are very active in here. So like two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, three hours ago, three hours ago, three hours ago, three hours ago, six hours ago, seven hours ago. And it just goes on like one day ago, one day ago. Like I don't, I don't have a lot of followings, but I have a fair few messages and they're targeted for the people that I'm trying to serve. And so this is the same thing for you. You don't need that. But there is some fundamentals that we need to look at. And this is my favorite fundamental way of looking at attention. So first there's an awareness, right? So if you're a filmmaker and watching this, let's think of DJI, right? DJI releases a drone product. First we made awareness with it. They may run an ad. Do we see it? Um, and then we see that new product or we get a notification that they've just posted it on their 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 timeline or whatever and we see this new drone come out now what is going on is we're in consideration so they've got our attention now we're into consideration so what would consideration content look like or what would be some mechanisms that you could create well that would be like things like reviews reviews of of them flying the drone and then you get so excited and think yep this could potentially be me i've seen all the reviews this is definitely what we need in the toolkit and then you go to the decision which is the actual sales page and you see another piece of attention mechanism there, which could be the sales thing, just to absolutely get you across the line. We have to think about these types of attention. So first we have to draw awareness to ourselves. Then we have to think about what can we put in the consideration when the people are actually starting to be in our pipeline or in our actual funnel. And then we're thinking to ourselves, okay, great. Uh, they're thinking about working with us. And this is where content becomes such a powerful, powerful tool because you, you know when you get a client and they're just sitting on the fence and then you start pumping out content it's basically helping them edge forward especially if you're helping them you know with particular type of content like value-based content which is you know problem solving or helping them a little bit like what i'm doing now a lot of you may be watching this sitting on the fence thinking about to join thinking about joining clout academy and by the way for those of you that are already in clout academy um please take a look at some of these other um modules that we have around how to find the perfect niche and how to lock in your attention around that. Okay, so let's talk about the different types of attention. Okay, so the first one I wanna talk about is outreach. So outreach could potentially be, we use a framework called Film and Story. This is our method, basically where we go out and we compliment and we ask questions. And then when they answer the questions publicly, we then go into the DMs and then we start working them through the script. That was one form of attention, which is what called outreach. 
Um, I don't particularly recommend ringing people cold. I just don't think it works in this day and age. It's just not something that has a method. But it could be that as well. That could be one thing. And for those of you in Natural Born Storytellers, we do break this down. For those of you in Clout Academy, we break this down extensively. Uh, if, especially if you're in Clout, we you can go through your um, sales script and your DM script and your cold outreach script for both uh, the 10 by 10 method and the film and story method and we will customize that for you now the other type of traffic that you can do is paired so you've got digital media which you could just pay for people to to go on um i think this is very effective if you have a really good page and you have some you know a lot of things going on particularly if it's uh sort of married up with organic content because then people would be more likely to follow and engage you with your stuff or you're driving it to an actual sales page if it's really really good offer it can actually work really well um industry and events they're also paid so you trade confidence industry events award nights anything that you can do that and then the other type of paid traffic is stuff like sponsored and traditional ads like billboards and you know magazines and i'll just be careful with that that one but that is a form of paid attention the other type that you could do is um heads of snake and this was a very powerful technique for me when i was coming up in my agency and that was developing relationships and i developed this amazing relationship with five by five an absolute great business if you don't know them they're in the gold coast they're a web company um, digital media agency and I developed when I was coming up very much developed a really good relationship with multiple um, web companies and I would act as their sort of visual storyteller now that's a head of a snake because this person is spending a lot of money in their organic outreach and their email marketing and their paid traffic and they're getting all the clients in and then they need video and I partner with them and they just because they've recommended it they're the head of the snake they've got the influence the other type of stuff you can do is speaking and that's a very powerful way to draw attention to yourself I know that speaking is a scary thing but I used to speak in front of entrepreneurs and talk about the power of of story and that was a really 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 powerful way to close sales and get premium clients particularly if you're speaking to an affluent audience and then the other one is approaching another influencer and then putting a presentation together and actually speaking on again the power of story that's what i did yours could be you know the power of editing it could be anything you want it to be but you find someone within your niche that is ahead of a snake and then you say to them hey i can come in and do a little mini workshop and that's a very powerful way to generate lead specifically if it is a um, affluent client now client referrals uh, is really powerful and the way we broke it up was to three 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 ways so um, the first one I want to talk about which is the most powerful is when you've actually made a film for someone and you've actually re released it to them you've given it to them that's the time to ask for a referral. That's the time to ask for the next project because they've got a dopamine spike, especially if you've done a really quick kick-ass project. And so that's a perfect time to build some kind of system in your business that you ask at that correct time. The other one is package upgrades. So we would um, basically say to a client, like, look, you've come in, we're gonna do this $50,000 campaign. Um, but what I'd love to do is upgrade it an extra 10 to 15,000 um, if we could either get a referral or if we could um, look at doing lo longer jeopardy stuff. So the way I did it was like I would sell them sort of a short form package bolted on say, hey, I'm going to give it to you for free because I could afford to make it because I'm out there shooting anyone and show you what it looks like. And then with the view to move them into the next so that for them to continue doing that for say 15K a month. But it also upgrading the packages and then telling them that we're looking for three people like you um, is a powerful way to get them to agree. And then the other one is client experiences. So the, what kind, how are you packaging your stuff? Do you send them a little hard drive afterward? Do you, do you give them an amazing experience around working with you? Do you bring them little donuts to the to set? Do you do you do you give them an experience that they can't forget? If you think of like uh, Apple and all these sort of bigger companies, they spend an incredible amount of money on just their packaging alone. And because it gives them gives people that um it gives people that sort of experience. Now content, organic content is the one that I sort of really love and I'm going to talk a lot, lot more about this but to give you an overview of how to I sort of what kind of formula do I use, I always like to do a formula of problem like 
when we're making content, we have to make content that people want to listen to, right? Or it's of some value. And for some reason, problems, conflict gets the attention of people. So we have to be very careful how we open up our content so that people actually feel there's a hook or something's there. And generally speaking, I find that if we talk about the problem as the main sort of content piece, it gets attention, right? So if you're having five, pro if you have the, the, the number one biggest mistake with your content um, that's killing your sales department could be a hook or a problem that you make as a studio, as a creative director. Then you talk about the solution awareness. It could be the emotional connection is this, the big thing that someone, the brands has to focus on. And then it could be, this is what you're going to do about it. You have a three act play. So when you open it up, you say this, when you say this, so it could be, this is why you, you do what you do. This is what you're fighting for. And this is the contribution. You break down a formula for that brand or that piece of content that the, con the, the, the brand's listening to. And then the result is, is this is what you get when you, when you dial in your content, when you have emotionally engaging content, this is how it can help your sales department. This is how it can flare up your leads. This is how it can help give you um, amazing brand awareness. This is how it can build brand, that kind of thing. And so this is the, 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 the I know, again, this is a very quick video to give you an overview of how to get attention, right? But this is probably the, the one that's very powerful for me. This is very powerful as well, which is client referral. Film and story, I could break that down a bit more, but reaching out to people, I like it, but it's also very difficult because it, it's cold, it can be slow, you can get a lot of rejection, and a lot of people get disheartened if they do not have a proven formula, and that's why Clark Academy is so powerful, because we have a proven formula around that, that actually works, doesn't cost you anything except time, because attention is either going to cost you one or two, it's either going to cost you time, or it's going to cost you money. I mean, these are probably the strongest ones in terms of like, systemizing so once you get them systemized these ones are very very good because when they're in sort of a consideration or already working with you or you're developing relationships and this is phenomenal for content and content is by far the biggest le le lever that you can pull and so what does it look like for you when you have it all dialed in <clears throat> well you get a business or a studio and your work you become pre-selected um, you get warm leads you have a predictable pipeline and you have engaging, uh, interested prospects constantly. And this is magic when this happens. And if we look, if we look at, uh, let me just show you this. It's always when I'm recording, nothing works. Okay. So dialed in offer, we've talked about that in a previous uh, YouTube where we basically talked about having a really good offer. Dialed in offers one thing and it always sort of creates some audience. I think if you if you can get in front of just enough, you can. But if you have the right attention with the right niche and the right offer, essentially this is this is this is what will happen when I can zoom in. Boom. You have more abundance. This takes you completely out of scarcity. This gives you this gives you more this gives you more options when we've got more options we come from a place of power and more value and we get to attract the people we actually want to work with and i think that's the baseline of what i'm trying to say here in this video so if you have not subscribed to my youtube make sure you do i'm going to be dropping a lot more around this i think i've even, I've even touched the surface on this like particularly um this one the these two are going to talk a lot more about in the upcoming um youtubes and content again for those of you in natural born storytellers or clark academy make sure you go through the content i've got a lot of stuff inside here and getting it getting attention particularly those in clout this is more nat natural born storytellers for those of you who don't know we do a program for 49 dollars a week um called natural born storytellers and for those of you that are a bit more serious about your business and you want speed implementation you want customization you want strategy and you want more help around this um in terms of accountability and guidance and direction then clout, clout academy is where you need to be and that's clout.tv um just check the description down below and make sure you follow me make sure you uh subscribe and uh post any questions under this video for now thank you very much as i said i'm going to be dropping more of this content if you like it just give it a thumbs up thanks a lot guys